something that's missing. So through all of my ideas, so you said the, the life coaching, mm -hmm. through the book, I'm also a higher education, um, post-secondary education expert consultant. So through all of these things, I try to educate, and not necessarily in the traditional terms of educate, go to class, take the test, but educate in terms of passing on that wisdom. Right. You know, passing on that. Uh, some of the wisest people that I know do not have a college degree. But I've sat at their feet and I've learned so much about life and just how to be a good person, a good woman, a good business, you know, woman. So it's just passing on that wisdom in terms of the educate. And in doing that, I'm giving you the tools that you need to get to that next level. I'm empowering you to get to that next level so that you have everything that you need. And then I'm gonna stand next to you and say, go, yes, I'm gonna encourage you. And I'm gonna cheer you on and I'm going to stay in the sidelines. I'm going to clap for you. Because sometimes that's all we need. Right. That's, we just need somebody to tell us that we can do it. You know, and so through everything that I do, those are my three main tenets, is to educate, to encourage, and to empower others. Nice. And one of the things I always say is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yes. And I always talk about degrees because it gets me to start talking about the difference between being educated mm -hmm. and trained in your thinking. Yes. And of course, a lot of people in the educational system here in this country believe that the degree is the end all be all, but it's the education. Mm -hmm. Because back in the day, there was no degrees. They were elders. Right. And they were griots. Right. And they were storytellers. Right. And they pass your history down to you because words are powerful. Absolutely. Words are energy. So when you say you're standing there and you're clapping and you're encouraging, four words that can transform someone's life and their thinking. Mm -hmm. I believe in you. Absolutely. And that sounds like exactly what you're doing through yes. your words and through your book. Absolutely. And I do that not just because, of course, yes, I. I have all the degrees and I have all the certifications and all the training, but I wouldn't have any of that if it was not for Mrs. Maddie Todd, my grandmother, mm -hmm. who was stoking the fires of my curiosity when I was a child. If it wasn't for Mrs. Murray Cook, my mother, who sacrificed, and I'm standing on her shoulders, if it wasn't for Fred Todd, if it wasn't for I mean, I could go on and on, Marilyn Helms, and I could go on and on about the number of people right. that this little black girl from Orange Mound, Memphis, Tennessee, that was born to a unwed mother, a drug addicted father, according to statistics, I'm not supposed to be here. Right. I'm not supposed to be having this conversation with you. I'm not supposed to be Dr. Terry. But because they encouraged me, they believed in me. When I would get down, they prayed for me. They continued to speak life over me, even when I just wanted to curl up and die. Mm -hmm. It's because of what they did that I can so easily now give it away freely. I look for opportunities to speak with someone. My husband, he says all the time, I can't take you nowhere. We're just supposed to be running in the store to get something, and you done struck up a conversation with a young lady at the cash right. register, and you know, because right. I just, I look for those opportunities to speak into someone else because that may make the difference between, I mean, what they do with the rest of their lives, what they do with the rest of their, you know, their day. So because it was so integral to me and who I am, I always try to, you know, try to give that back. It's enough out here in this world that's telling us what we are not, what we can't, why we're not enough. So if I could just be that one voice to tell I mean, you, whoever it is that come along my path, that you are enough. You know, don't listen to what society is telling us. Don't listen to, you know, all of the things that we're being inundated with of the negativity. Let me give you some positivity to go on the way. You better go ahead, Dr. Terry Van Zandt, <laughs> and here with all of this positive energy. Somebody is watching right now, and they say, I heard of a baseball coach. I heard of a football coach. I heard of a volleyball coach. <laughs> what is a life coach? A life coach? Um, I help you get your life, <laughs> basically. Um, so 
a life coach is the person that kind of comes alongside you in the journey. So I know I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, right. so I can't diagnose you with anything, I can't give you a prescription, but mm-hmm. I work very closely with some clinicians. So if we're working together and we uncover some things like depression and anxiety, and all of that is okay. All of that, I, I, I like to kind of lift the stigma off of some of those um, issues because we oftentimes, especially in our community, the African American community, it's seen as something wrong, something bad, something you know, that's horrible and that's not the case. I mean, we've all dealt with some sort of, you know, um, mental depressions or anxieties or things like that. And I work very closely with clinicians that partner with me on that. But I'm not the one as a life coach that can diagnose you and give you the medicines or things that you need. But what I do is help you to discover that that is already inside of you. We are all beautifully, wonderfully, fearfully created by our Heavenly Father. And sometimes we forget who we are and whose we are. So I come alongside you and say, hey, Tom, let's talk about this. What do you want to be in life? Well, what's stopping you? Well, how can we clear the runway so that you can take off? And sometimes it's just having that person to talk to, to bounce ideas off of. And there's certain exercises that I give my clients to a little hard work. I don't like to call it homework because we're working on some of the things that have kind of gotten into our hearts a little bit and cloud our heads. So I give you a little hard work to do um, in, in the time that we spend together. And it's through all of that that you are then able to see clearly what you want clearly what your purpose is and clearly go after that thing in a way that only you can do because there's nobody like you that can't nobody do what you do nice so i help you discover all of that that is within inside nice are you getting all this i hope you're taking all of this in okay because she said when she helped me go get that thing that's when that heart of my memphis came out so listen i know you want to get in contact with her Okay, so would you please give the people your social media and any contact information that you have? Absolutely, absolutely. So I can be reached across all social media social media platforms at Dr. Terry, and I know that's a mouthful, so I'll spell it out for you. That's Dr. D R T I E R I N I. Dr. Terry, one more time. D R T I E R I N I. And you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, I do video blogs. Um, That's also my website, drtierry.com. And you can find more information about all of my coaching services. Um, My book, you can purchase my book there or in digital on Amazon. And just connect with me. I also have every first Tuesday here in Charlotte, I have something that I call Level Up Couch Conversations. And it's basically doing what we're doing right here, right now. You know, I get together with a group of like-minded um, level uppers who are all on this journey and who want to learn from each other and glean wisdom from each other as we are um, on our level up journey. So that's every Tuesday here in Charlotte, um, the first two, excuse me, the first Tuesday of every month, the first Tuesday of every month here in Charlotte. You can find more information about that and everything that I'm doing on my website. Nice. And she said the word glean. That's how you know she's a doctor. But I don't even know what that means. I had to go Google. It means. What that means. It's to draw from. Oh, uh-huh, to draw from. Yes. Okay. It's drawing from your wisdom. Nice. Yes. I'm use that today. I'm yes. gleaming from you all on the radio. Listen, this is a new format. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be doing this weekly. Make sure that you follow me at Tone X Comedy. Make sure that you go to Grown Man Comedy on YouTube and subscribe as well. Hashtag 60 Second Jokes. Make sure you go to YouTube and you subscribe. Okay? Once again, give them the name of your book. Yes, it's Level Up, Living on the Levels God Intended. All right? Make sure you go get the book. It's all about support, all right? Yes. That's how you can start the Level Up, okay? Yes. Dr. Tyranny, this is Tonex, a.k.a. Nick Fury, all right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Community Spotlight. <laughs> Wish I was a diamond I'd be a bloody reminder Of the 
the children in Ghana Kidnapped for their father and mama Search team couldn't find them If I can't present the proof Just know I'm trying If I can't show you the truth I guess I'm dying And all your dreams can't be true But the price to buy Cause your soul for the toll Pay for the diamonds If I can't present the proof Hey cousins and cousins, are you grown gang? Would you like to be? Well then you gotta be part of the grown man conversation. It's hosted by Tone X and Y Squared. Every Tuesday, 8 o'clock, downtown started at Club Sports 1. What you can't make it in person? You on house arrest? No problem. Go to YouTube, type in grown man comedy. Click the link that looks like Tone X and subscribe. That way you can discuss grown conversations with grown people. Grown